The shuttle opened in 1909, and it closed on February the 28th, 1959. It had two cars of the G stock. It closed because of falling passenger numbers. Between 1905 and 1914, it went between Hounslow and South Acton, and then after the war to the day it closed, it went from Acton Town to South Acton. The G-Stock were 50 electric carriages built for the District Railway in 1923. They operated on the District Line the London Underground till 1971, with most withdrawn in the early 60s. The G-Stock was built to replace some of the wood B-Stock trailer cars which were in poor condition. Some steel frame B-Stock became trailers for the G-Stock, but they were soon replaced. The G-Stock consisted entirely of motor cars. In 1938, 48 G-Stock cars were rebuilt and reclassified as Q23 stock. The remaining two cars were rebuilt into single cars used on the Acton Shuttle. These two cars numbered 4167 and 4176 were not rebuilt into Q-Stock and were reclassified as G23 stock. Here's how it would have looked on a Tube Star map. As our Piccadilly Line train leaves, you can see off platform 4 the location that the sh platform that the shuttle used. Behind the advertising boards is the platform edge. Going up the stairs and looking out a window shows the bridge that passengers would have crossed to get to the platform and some more advertising boards by the platformers. Once outside Acton Town, you can look at the Charles Holden Design Station and turn 180 degrees to face away from the station, you can watch the trains. We were lucky and saw tr four trains at once. To the right of the previous video, there is Museum Way. This leads to the London Transport Museum. Here you can see the train shed with a video coming soon. Heading down Bolo Lane, you can see the remains of the bridge that the shuttle would have gone over. It is next to Acton Works, and you can see it off the train heading into Acton Town from Turnham Green. As you can see, this is the sign for the Acton Works at 130 Bolo Lane. And it, this is the closest bus stop. Now you can see us crossing the track at a level crossing and there is South Acton Overground Station, the bridge in the distance. Walking further, there is Bolo Lane Junction, another level crossing. There isn't much to see at this level crossing though. At South Acton, you wouldn't even be able to tell that the shuttle existed. <laughs> 